Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Parents and pastors, President Trump, who I'm pretty sure is watching this, if God is willing to actually command in the fourth commandment that you be given such respect and honor and obedience, well, use it for good. Use it to serve your neighbor and not just yourself. Luther writes, God does not wish to have in this office and government knaves and tyrants, nor does he assign to them this honor, that is, power and authority to govern that they should have themselves worshipped, but they should consider that they are under obligations of obedience to God, and that, first of all, they should earnestly and faithfully discharge their office, not only to support and provide for the bodily necessities of their children, servants, subjects, etc., but most of all, to train them to the honor and praise of God. Parents, pastors, really anyone in authority. We've talked a lot about how everybody still has to listen to you, even though you're a sinner and sometimes have no idea what you're doing. Even though you're not perfect, God has put you into an office and promised to work through you. And this this is not so that you can serve yourself. This is not so that you can have yourself worshipped. And this also doesn't mean that even though you're a sinner and God has promised to work through you, you should lean into the sin. It means take a deep breath. Try your very best to relax. Recognize the promise that God has made to you that he will do what he needs to do through you. And then actually try to serve the people that God has given you to serve. Because your calling means something. You can do something that other people can't. You can do things for certain people better than anyone else. Here's the thing. Um, higher things is great. Your pastor, wonderful. Your church is fantastic. But here's the thing. God made parents to raise up their children in fear and understanding of the Lord. And as great as higher things are, as great as your church and your pastor are, we can't carry that load all by ourselves. If you're not willing to help an hour a week, a five-minute video, it's not going to cut it. God has given these things to you, and when you're on board with it, it goes so much better. God has put you into this office to raise up your children to the honor and glory of God. Parents, first and foremost, do your job. Teach your kids, not just the church stuff, but everything. The compassion, the love, the virtue, the charity. All of these things, they begin at home. And parents, if you're not willing to do this, it's going to go bad. Not just for yourselves, but for all of us. Citizenship begins in the family. And where that breaks down, the whole thing starts to fall apart. And so parents, especially parents, God has given you a huge task. But he has made you a huge promise. He will work through you. He will get his job done, so strive to wield the authority that he has given you for the good of others and not just yourselves. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran.